Dr. Ali Fatma Matarac, Social Political Science Program at the National University of Sarajevo, and uh, her theme is Remembering the Battle of Kosovo. Uh, Ali Fatma Matarac is affiliated with the Social and Political Science Program in the Faculty of Arts and Social Sciences at the National University of Sarajevo since October 2011. She is also the coordinator for Social and Political Science Program since January 2000. Well, she, she finalized her PhD dissertation on item trading in the Shadow of Wars, commercial collection of all eight automatic massive trading house. Under the supervision of Professor Dr. Edgar Nelder at the Department of History, Bokazici University. She acquired an extended experience of teaching in a wide range of disciplines in social sciences through her previous affiliation with Istanbul Building University. Please. So, good evening. I don't know which party is luckier, me to present the last or you to have uh, one more presenter to listen to, but we'll survive and I'll be short. Um, my presentation is based on my usual time to extend what it means to remember a battle which happened almost 625 years ago. On the screen are the immediate questions that popped up in relation to this project and which still keep me busy. Among these questions in this presentation, I will focus on the last one, what, uh, being, what is actually being remembered through the commemoration of the Battle of Kosovo, and share my current answers to this question. The Battle of Kosovo occurred between Ottoman and a coalition of Serb, Bulgarian, Albanian, Balkan, Belarusian Orthodox Christian forces on Kosovo Plain on June 15, 1389, according to the Julian calendar in use by the Serbian Orthodox Church. Ever since this date has been designated as a memorial day, named as Vidovdan, or Saint Vitus Day, to commemorate Prince Lazar and Serbian martyrs who lost their lives during the Battle of Kosovo. Vidovdan has been considered a date of special importance to Serbs, with the listed events taking place on Vidovdan, June 28, according to the uh, Gregorian calendar. Looking at all these listed events, among which we get to see also the assassination of Franz Ferdinand and his wife, one can easily claim that June 28 was turned into a historically significant date starting with the Battle of Kosovo. All the politically significant events that happened on the exact same day with the Battle of Kosovo in the following years have actually operated as reminders of the battle itself. Hence, any commemoration, remembrance of these listed events is also reminding of the battle itself. But what is actually there to remember about a war that happened 625 years ago. According to a Balkan Orthodox Christian and nationalist, especially serving historiography, the Ottomans decisively defeated the aforementioned Grand Coalition of Serb, Bulgarian, Albanian, Bosnian, Belarusian Orthodox Christian forces on Kosovo Plain shattering the last remnants of the Serbian Empire. Whereas, according to revisionist historians like John Fine Jr. and Noel Malcolm, losses were heavy on both sides. And at the close of the battle, both the remnants of the Orthodox Christian forces and the Ottoman forces withdrew. Ottoman forces withdrew because of two main re reasons. First, they lacked the numbers and the strength to continue their offensive against the Balkan Christians. Second, Milos Kabilovic, known as Obelic, who had ostensibly deserted to the Ottoman side, managed to assassinate Sultan Murat, Ottoman Sultan Murat. Murat's eldest son, Bayezid, who commanded the Ottoman forces, felt obliged to pull back his remaining troops in order to secure his own succession to the Sultanate. According to Fine, since the Turks also withdrew, one can conclude the battle was a draw. Since the Serb and Bosnian forces had seemingly held off an Ottoman assault, they initially claimed that they had won and they 
were hailed as saviors of Christ Christendom. Whereas the Serbs had lost a large part of their forces in holding the Turks for temporary draw, the Ottomans still had many thousands of fresh troops in reserve and were able to complete their conquest of the Orthodox Serb lands, other than Bosnian Rule Hum and parts of Veta Montenegro by 1392. Although the Serbs may not have formally lost the Battle of Kosovo in 1389, I quote Finn, they lost the war because they were no longer able to resist the Turks effectively. One of the Ottoman sources mentioning the Battle of Kosovo belongs to Enviri, a poet and historian who lived during the reign of Fatih Sultan Mehmet, 1451-1481. Enviri being his nickname, we are in the dark regarding his real name, family origins, hometown education, etc. Our current knowledge about him is limited with what he provides about himself in his work titled Dusturname, a work of history written in verse for and dedicated to Grand Vizier Mahmud Pasha. Here uh, you get to see the pages Okay, this, this page is fine as well. This is a page from his work where he talks about the Battle of Kosovo. Uh, his work consisting of 3,730 verses written in uh, the style of Mesnevi involves 22 books, among which 19, 20, 21st, and 22nd are about Ottoman history. And maybe is the first Ottoman historian to cite Milos as Milos, who killed the Ottoman Sultan Murat on Kosovo Polya. The information he provides regarding the month and date of arrival of Sultan Murat at Kosovo Polya and the number of soldiers on both sides is invaluable. As different sources cite different numbers regarding the soldiers on both sides and regarding how Sultan Murat was killed on the battlefield. And various records contribute to the enrichment of history writing regarding the Battle of Kosovo in particular and the period at large. He is also the first Ottoman historian to mention that it was Sultan Murat who bequeathed to the statesmen around him as he was dying that among himself, uh, among his sons, Bayezid should be his successor. Even based on the limited historical background provided, it's easy to conclude that we are still in the dark regarding what happened on the battlefield. And it is actually this darkness which allows for competing historical accounts of the battle in different historiographies. Hence, what is there to commemorate for the following generations of parties which were involved in this war when the available historical knowledge regarding this particular event is very limited? The commemoration of the Ottoman victory at the Battle of Kosovo has not been a tradition on the Turkey side. Whereas Serbs have been commemorating June 28 every year. The simple fact urges me to raise the question as to what is it that is really being commemorated on June 28. For the sake of brevity, I will not dwell on the well known legendary and mythical role significance of the Battle of Kosovo for Serbian nationalism. Instead, I will focus on one particular instance of commemoration of the Battle of Kosovo, being the being the movie, the um, being the movie Battle of Kosovo, Noina Kosovo, which was produced as an ambitious project of the Radio Television Belgrade in 1989 for the 600th anniversary of the Battle on Kosovo Plain. The film was based on the drama written by the poet. This film is screened every year on Vidovdan on Serbian local television, Vete Seyedan, 
I want to share with you one short sequence from the movie, which is the market scene. It is only one and a half minutes, so I won't take much of the time. Church 
with Muslims and hence the transfer of the Turks to the fear of the Muslims. Muslims replacing the Turks as the other, the unknown. Within the context of the long 20th century, is it realistic to refer to Muslims as the unknown when all we need to know is a quick away? But how about the affiliation with fear? It is hard to deny its success as we have so many incidences of this, including media coverage of 9-11. Representations of the fear of the unknown are powerful tools to trigger not only imaginations of the best possible candidates for the status of enemy, but also the survival instinct. Through such representations, a movie produced for the commemoration of the 600th anniversary of the Battle of Kosovo can immediately operate as a reminder of a feeling which has actually lost its object along the course of history. Whether it ever had its object is also a question worth consideration. Nevertheless, the main achievement of such representations is to remind the exposed parties of their past enemies leaving potential current ones to their own imagination, meanwhile providing some guidance regard to, regarding where to search for it.